The UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon has arrived for a two-day visit to Tunisia. Ban Ki-moon is scheduled to meet President Beji Kaib Esebsi and other officials in Tunis. He is also likely to meet Libya's Government of National Accord, the Prime Minister designate Afaiz Seraj. The UN chief will also be meeting UN staff serving in the country. On the agenda will be the growing instability in neighboring Libya. He will be joined on the first day of his visit by the World Bank President Jim Yong Kim. The two are expected to lay writs at the Bardo Museum in memory of victims of the March 18, 2015 terrorist attack. Let's get you now the latest from Tunis. CCTV's Youssef Gaiji is standing by for us. Youssef, we understand uh, Ban Ki-moon has arrived in Tunisia. Who is he scheduled to meet? What do we know? Well, um, Ban Ki-moon arrived today around uh, noon to Tunisia and he already went to the uh, People's Assembly to meet the President of the Assembly and members of Parliament. He also met with the President Beji Khaled Sebsi and as you mentioned, he was accompanied by uh, the President of the World Bank. We know also that they are set to meet with the, uh, the Prime Minister later this afternoon and they are also meeting with um, the Nobel Peace uh, Lord uh, we know also that tomorrow he will be participating in a national employment uh, conference in Tunis here before departing. Well, uh, Tunisia though has experienced terror attacks in the past and they are also trying to de-radicalize young people. What kind of assistance though do they intend to seek from the United Nations? Well, um, uh, the Secretary General of the United Nations already mentioned that a central theme in all his meetings with Tunisian officials will be uh, the economy and employment. Tunisia faces major economic challenges and so uh, this uh, will be uh, the main point of discussion with different Tunisian officials and particularly employment creation. Uh, he also mentioned that uh, they will be discussing specific and concrete propositions to boost the Tunisian economy and uh, to create employment. Another challenge uh, here in Tunisia is uh, the security threat and uh, uh, as you mentioned Tunisia has been through several terror attacks in the past uh, year or so and and uh, this is a source of concern to Tunisian office officials, but also to the international community. And uh, one of the main discussion points will be how to uh, support Tunisia in its fight uh, against uh, uh, militants and uh, armed fighters. Uh, we know that uh, the UN has major programs already happening in Tunisia, like uh, the justice reform and the security reform that impact directly how Tunisia is dealing with uh, armed groups uh, but still um, due to the increase of the activity of armed groups over the past year in Tunisia uh, this has become a major threat and a major issue here. Right, uh, Yusuf Gaiji for us there in Tunis.